Welcome to day nine of the 12 Days of Anime, where my true wife gave to me a silent voice. This movie was one of the most powerful anime movies that I have ever seen. At first, I was skeptical of how much I would really like it, the first arc really just trying and kind of failing to make me feel sorry for the deaf girl Shoko, but where the story picked up was into the second part, which was several years later when all the characters were in high school and we saw the impact the events earlier had on them. Specifically for the main character Shoya, who had picked on Shoko, and then once she left, all the hate and blame ended up falling to him. He is played with guilt, thinks he won't ever be able to make friends, and he feels like he can never atone for what he had done. The reason I love his story so much is because of the fact that everyone has guilt over the things that they have done in the past or the ways that they had hurt others. And it's so great seeing him try to make amends, try and forgive himself for what he had done wrong, and in doing so, he is able to accept himself, and through that, the people all around him. One of the keys to life is to find love and acceptance from others. This can be through friends, family, those you barely know, or maybe even sometimes those you have never met. A person can appear to be fine on the outside, but unless they can feel love from others, they'll be empty inside. And it is this emptiness that Shoyu feels throughout the story. I also love how the show blurs the line between good and evil here. Or maybe a better way to put it is that it forces the viewer to see how humans blur this line. It is easy to pretend that we are all good, and that our friends are good, and the truly evil people are the others. But really, we are all messed up. We've all hurt people. None of us are as good as we might like to pretend, and those that we write off as evil are rarely as bad as we would label them as. Another part of the movie I loved was how friendship was able to help Shoya finally start to overcome his pain, especially with Tomohiro. Tomohiro was able to show that a flawed friend can do a lot for a person and when they are alone. A simple fully strived to help someone else can mean far more than would make sense. A Silent Voice is a movie about mistakes and guilt and the challenges of overcoming the past, but it is a movie about how the past can be overcome even if it's a difficult and bumpy journey to take. The feelings that the show left me with are not the easiest to talk about or even to put into words, but they are feelings that stuck with me. A Silent Voice is easily the best movie I've seen this year, probably the best since I saw Perfect Blue last year. And as hyped as it might be, it is one that deserves the hype.